Map showing the approximate location of the boy in Bohemia and in Italy. The contemporary La Tan culture is indicated in green tones, the preceding Hallstatt culture in yellow. The boy were a Gallic tribe of the later Iron Age, attested at various times in Cisalpine Gaul, Pannonia. Parts of Bavaria, in and around Bohemia, parts of Poland, and Gallia Narbonensis. In addition, the archaeological evidence indicates that in the 2nd century BC Celts expanded from Bohemia through the Kwatskaw Valley into Silesia, now part of Poland and the Czech Republic. They first appear in history in connection with the Gallic invasion of northern Italy, 390 BC, when they made the Etruscan city of Felsina their new capital, Bononia. After a series of wars they were decisively beaten by the Romans in a battle of Matina and their territory became part of the Roman province of Cisalpine Gaul. According to Strabo, writing two centuries after the events, rather than being destroyed by the Romans like their Celtic neighbors, Tihi boy were merely driven out of the regions they occupied, and after migrating to the regions round about the Ister, lived with the Taurisi, and carried on war against the Dasi until they perished, tribe and all, and thus they left their country, which was a part of Illyria, to their neighbors as a pasture ground for sheep. Around 60 BC, a group of boy joined the Helvetes' ill-fated attempt to conquer land in western Gaul and were defeated by Julius Caesar, along with their allies, in the Battle of Babracti. Caesar settled the remnants of that group in Gorgobina, from where they sent 2,000 of Vercingetorix's aid at the Battle of Alicia six years later. The eastern boy on the Danube were incorporated into the Roman Empire in 8 AD. From all the different names of the same Celtic people in literature and inscriptions it is possible to abstract a continental Celtic segment, Boyo. There are two major derivations of this segment, both presupposing that it belongs to the family of Indo-European languages, from cow and from warrior. The boy would thus be either the herding people or the warrior people. The cow derivation depends most immediately on the old Irish legal term for outsider, Ambu, from Proto-Celtic Ambuios, not a cattle owner. In a reference to the first known historical boy, Polybius relates that their wealth consisted of cattle and gold, that they depended on agriculture and war, and that a man's status depended on the number of associates and assistants he had. The latter were presumably the Ambui, as opposed to the man of status, who was Buios, a cattle owner, and the Buv were originally a class, the cattle owners. Depiction of a soldier wearing a plumed pot helmet, Hallstatt culture bronze belt plaque from Vace, Slovenia, c. 400 BC The warrior derivation was adopted by the linguist Julius Pokorny, who presented it as being from Indo-European Pei, B, Hit, however, not finding any Celtic names close to it. He adduces examples somewhat more widely from originals further back in time, Fohios, a venetic personal name, Boioi, an Illyrian tribe, Boiotoi, a Greek tribal name, and a few others. Boy would be from the O grade of Pei, which is boy. Such a connection is possible if the original form of boy belonged to a tribe of Proto Indo European speakers long before the time of the historic boy. If that is the case, then the Celtic tribe of Central Europe must have been a final daughter population of a linguistically diversified ancestor tribe. The same wider connections can be hypothesized for the cow derivation. The Boeotians have been known for well over a century as a people of kind, which might have been parallel to the meaning of Italy as land of calves. Indo-European reconstructions can be made using Gu Kao as a basis, such as G W O E A cubed S, the root may itself be an imitation of the sound a cow makes. Contemporary derived words include Boyerix and Boyoyurum in Germany. Their memory also survives in the modern regional names of Bohemia, a mixed language form from Boyo and Proto-Germanic Hamas, home, home of the boy, and Bayern, Bavaria, which is derived from. The Germanic Bayovari tribe, Germanic Baha Warges, the first component is most plausibly explained as a Germanic version of boy, the second part is a common formational morpheme of Germanic tribal names. Meaning dwellers, as in Old English where, this combination boy dwellers may have meant those who dwell where the boy formerly dwelt. Roman accounts of movements of the boy according to the ancient authors, the boy arrived in northern Italy by crossing the Alps. While of the other tribes who had come to Italy along with the boy, the Senyanes, Lingonis and Senamani are also attested in Gaul at the time of the Roman conquest. It remains therefore unclear where exactly the Central Europe origins of the boy lay, if somewhere in Gaul, southern Germany or in Bohemia. Polybius relates that the Celts were close neighbors of the Etruscan civilization and cast covetous eyes on their beautiful country. Invading the Po Valley with a large army, they drove out the Etruscans and resettled it, 
the boy taking the right bank in the center of the valley. Strabo confirms that the boy emigrated from their lands across the Alps and were one of the largest tribes of the Celts. The boy occupied the old Etruscan settlement of Felsina, which they named Mononia. Polybius describes the Celtic way of life in Cisalpine Gaul as follows, they lived in unwalled villages, without any superfluous furniture, for as they slept on beds of leaves and fed on meat and were exclusively occupied with war and agriculture. Their lives were very simple, and they had no knowledge whatever of any art or science. Their possessions consisted of cattle and gold, because these were the only things they could carry about with them everywhere according to circumstances and shift where they chose. They treated comradeship as of the greatest importance, those among them being the most feared and most powerful who were thought to have the largest number of attendants and associates. The archaeological evidence from Bologna and its vicinity contradicts the testimony of Polybius and Livy on some points, who say the boy expelled the Etruscans and perhaps some were forced to leave. It indicates the boy neither destroyed nor depopulated Felsinum, but simply moved in and became part of the population by intermarriage. The cemeteries of the period in Bologna contain Law 10 weapons and other artifacts, as well as Etruscan items such as bronze mirrors. At Monte Bible not far away one grave contained Law 10 weapons and a pot with an Etruscan female name scratched on it. In the second half of the 3rd century BC, the boy allied with the other Cisalpine Gauls and the Etruscans against Rome. They also fought alongside Hannibal, killing the Roman general Lucius Postumius Albinus in 216 BC, whose skull was then turned into a sacrificial bowl. A short time earlier, they had been defeated at the Battle of Telamon in 225 BC, and were again at Placentia in 194 BC and Matina in 193 BC. Publius Cornelius Scipio Nasica completed the Roman conquest of the boy in 191 BC, celebrating a triumph for it. After their losses, according to Strabo, a large portion of the boy left Italy. Contrary to the interpretation of the classical writers, the Pannonian boy attested in later sources are not simply the remnants of those who had fled from Italy, but rather another division of the tribe, which had settled there much earlier. The burial rites of the Italian boy show many similarities with contemporary Bohemia, such as inhumation, which was uncommon with the other Cisalpine Gauls, or the absence of the typically Western Celtic Turks. This makes it much more likely that the Cisalpine boy had actually originated from Bohemia rather than the other way round. Having migrated to Italy from north of the Alps, some of the defeated Celts simply moved back to their kinsfolk. The Pannonian boy are mentioned again in the late 2nd century BC when they repelled the Cimbri and Teutonese. Later on, they attacked the city of Noria shortly before a group of boy joined the Helvetii in their attempt to settle in western Gaul. After the Helvetian defeat at Pabracti, the influential Idui tribe allowed the boy survivors to settle in their territory, where they occupied the epitome of Gorgobina. Although attacked by Vercingetorix during one phase of the war, they supported him with 2,000 troops at the Battle of Alicia. Again, other parts of the boy had remained closer to their traditional home, and settled in the Slovak and Hungarian lowlands by the Danube and the Mura, with a center at Bratislava. Around 60 BC they clashed with the rising power of the Dacians under their king Burebista and were defeated. When the Romans finally conquered Pannonia in 8 AD, the boy seemed not to have opposed them. Their former territory was now called Deserta Boiorum. However, the boy had not been exterminated. There was a Civitas Boiorum et Azaliorum which was under the jurisdiction of a prefect of the Danube shore. This Civitas, a common Roman administrative term designating both a city and the tribal district around it, was later adjoined to the city of Carnuntum. Plautus refers to the boy in Captivi, at nunc siculus non est, boius est, boiem terret, but now he is not a Sicilian he is a boyus, he has got a boy a woman. There is a play on words, boya means woman of the boy, also convicted criminals restraint collar. In volume 21 of his History of Rome, Livy claims that it was a boyo man that offered to show Hannibal the way across the Alps. When, after the action had thus occurred, his own men returned to each general, Scipio could adopt no fixed plan of proceeding, except that he should form his measures from the plans. And undertakings of the enemy, and Hannibal, uncertain whether he should pursue the march he had commenced into Italy, or fight with the Roman army which had first presented itself. The arrival of ambassadors from the boy, and of a petty prince called Magalus, diverted from an immediate engagement, who, declaring that they would be the guides of his journey and the companions of his dangers, gave it as their opinion, that Italy ought to be attacked with the entire force of the war, his strength having been nowhere previously impaired. In the first century BC, the boy living in an epidum of Bratislava minted by Atex, 
high quality coins with inscriptions in Latin letters. This is the only written source provided by the boy themselves. Thanks for watching.